Come on, kids. It's Caillou story time. What's the story called, Grandma? It's called Caillou Isn't Afraid Anymore. It all happened when Caillou was three years old. Mr. Hinkle lived next door. Lots of children said there was a ghost in his scary old house. Mr. Hinkle's house sure looked spooky. And so did Mr. Hinkle. Why, Caillou, what's the matter? It's Mr. Hinkle. He's scary. Why do you say that? Mr. Hinkle is scary. Look, he wants to catch me. He's not there. And besides, I know Mr. Hinkle, and he's very nice. Why, hello there, Caillou. <gasps> Poor Mr. Hinkle felt sad when he saw Caillou run away. Don't be frightened. Mr. Hinkle came over to say he was sorry you were scared. He's really a nice man. I don't like him. I think you're just afraid of Mr. Hinkle because you don't know him. Hello? Can I come in? Come in, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou, Mr. Hinkle would like to... Caillou? Oh, but where did Caillou go? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. Oh, boy. I think he's playing hide-and-go-seek. And I love playing hide-and-go-seek. Ready or not, Caillou, here we come. Now, where, oh, where could he be? Caillou, you, where are you? Gilbert, they hear us. Oop, I think Caillou's hiding downstairs. We're getting warmer. I wonder if he's in here. I don't see him. No, he's not here. Let's check another room. <laughs> There's only one place left where Caillou could be. I think I'm getting warmer and warmer. Caillou forgot all about being scared of Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you two are friends now. I want to play again. I'd like that very much, Caillou. And this time, I'll hide and you can seek. I like you, Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> oh, you're going to like this story. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Big Brother Caillou. It all happened back when Caillou was a very little boy, about two and a half years old. Baby sister coming, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. I'm going to the hospital today. Grandma will look after you. A few days later, Caillou was very excited because he was going to meet Rosie for the very first time. Mommy here! Daddy here! We're home! All three of us! Say hello to your new sister, Caillou. This is Rosie. Caillou wasn't sure if he liked Rosie. Oh, she's just beautiful. She's absolutely adorable. Isn't she gorgeous? She's my special girl. <coughs> Rosie wasn't very happy, and neither was Caillou. Nobody was paying attention to him. He thought they only cared about Rosie. Caillou was so unhappy, he didn't even like his doll anymore. Would you like to rock the baby, Caillou? No! Caillou!
Caillou didn't know if he liked Rosie very much. Okay, maybe later. Daddy wasn't happy to see him pinching Rosie. Caillou, why did you do that to Rosie? I don't like Rosie. Why not? Rosie doesn't play with me. But she's only a baby. She's just too little to play with you now. It's not easy being a big brother, is it? But now that you are a big brother, you can protect Rosie since she's so small. Say, would you like to help me? I can't do this by myself. Caillou, would you pass me the diaper, please? P. So, you've been feeling a bit left out of things, too, have you, Gilbert? All changed? Yes, I helped Daddy. Would you like to hold her, Caillou? Yes, please, Mommy. Watch her head. <coughs> what is it, Caillou? Rosie smells good. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Learns to Drive. Have you seen Caillou anywhere? He said he wanted to help me with the car. I think he's in the garden, <laughs> driving his car. Beep, beep! Caillou's in his car! <laughs> You probably know that Caillou loves anything to do with cars and buses and trucks. <laughs> ah, there you are. Daddy! Did you forget? You said you wanted to help me wash the car. Imagined he was driving the most fantastic car you ever saw. Hello, Mr. Lion. me do. Oops. <laughs> Daddy, you're all wet. What happened? Caillou had no idea that he was the one who made his daddy spray himself with water. Well, it was an accident. Don't I look silly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still want to help me? You bet. I was driving the car, Daddy. Is that right? Yes. I love cars, you know. Mm, I know you do. I used to love cars when I was little, too. And you still love cars. Look, Mommy. It's all clean and shiny. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go for a picnic at the beach. Mr. Lion. Can I drive the car when I'm bigger, Daddy? Will you teach me? Of course, Caillou. Of course.
story time, kids. Here it is, silly. Caillou wasn't lost at all. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's All Alone. Play with me, Mommy. Shh, Caillou. I'm busy. Fourteen, fifteen. Can I help you count? One, two, three, four. Caillou, this is very difficult. I can help you. I can help you. Sixteen, twenty, one, two, three. Oh, no, Caillou. Look what you've done. Caillou, I really need to be left alone right now. I'm too busy to play. Why don't you go find Daddy? Maybe he'll play with you. Caillou had really wanted his mommy to play with him. Wait a minute. Maybe Daddy could play with him. But Caillou didn't know his Daddy was very busy, too. Daddy, Daddy! Wow, is it broken? Not anymore. I fixed it. A snowman, Daddy. Look, I'm a snowman too. Look, Daddy. Caillou, I have a lot of cleaning up to do and I really need to do it alone. Why don't you go and find Grandma? Caillou was quite sure Grandma would like to hear all about his Daddy's troubles with the washing machine. There's a good girl, Rosie. Close your eyes, dear. Hmm. I thought she'd never get to sleep. Ah, at last. Grandma, look at me! <gasps> I'm a snowman! Shh! Caillou! Shh! Rosie's sleeping. Daddy was fixing the washing machine, and all these bubbles came out all over him. There were bubbles everywhere, Grandma. Shh! Caillou, please be quiet. You'll wake up Rosie. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie and I really need to be left alone. Why don't you go and play with Gilbert? Gilbert, you'll play with me, won't you? Oh. Maybe Mommy's finished counting. I'm sorry, Caillou. I just have to be on my own right now. Do you want to play with me? Yay! Caillou! your snack. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he never even heard his mommy calling. Caillou? <laughs> Are you all right? We were a bit worried about you being here all alone. What are you doing? Nothing. Just playing. Who's ready for a story? Look at all those teddy bears. This story is called Caillou's Teddy Shirt. You sit here, Teddy. Here it comes, Teddy. <coughs> donkey, donkey, donkey. Me play. Okay. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. Rosie was wearing his very favorite shirt. <laughs> mommy! Mommy! What is it, Caillou? Rosie is wearing my teddy shirt. It's much too small for you, so I give it to Rosie to wear. It's not too small for me. It's mine. I need this shirt, Rosie. Teddy shirt? I'll get you your nice mousy shirt, Rosie, okay? <laughs> See? It still fits me. It's perfect. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Poor Caillou. His tummy was itchy from the carpet. And his shirt just wouldn't stay tucked in. Maybe it was too small for him. But then Caillou got an idea. Caillou thought he might be able to tape his shirt. Yucky tape! You stay! Caillou was very sad. He knew that his teddy shirt didn't fit him anymore, but he didn't want to give it up. Caillou? There's you wearing your teddy shirt. You look so cute. You were too. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. I'm sorry I didn't ask you before I gave it to Rosie. I forgot how much you used to like it. Caillou still liked it. But he knew he was bigger now, and it didn't fit him anymore. Maybe we could put it away in a special place to keep forever. I'm going to give it to Teddy! Good idea. Teddy, you look beautiful in your new shirt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy shirt! <laughs> Anyone up for a story? Come and sit by the fire. It's nice and cozy. Let's start. Tonight's story is called Caillou Snowman. <laughs> Got one. Me too. <laughs> Let's make a snowman. A snowman? Wow. Do you want to help me? Caillou thought that was a great idea, even though he didn't know exactly how to make a snowman. Yes! Why don't you start making the head? I'll make his body. Okay. Gonna make a snowman, gonna make a snowman. Hmm, I can do that. Hey! Oof! Yeah. I can't do it. I hate making the snowman. How's the head coming along, Caillou? Hmm. I can't make it. You can? Don't worry, I'll show you how. We're going to make the biggest snowman in the world. The biggest snowman in the world? In the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I think that snowball is big enough. Let's make new ones. Oh! <laughs> First, you have to make a tiny snowball. See? Caillou liked having Sarah to show him what to do. Oh. A snowball! You did it! Hey! <laughs> stop! But Caillou wouldn't stop. Sarah didn't think the game was funny anymore. Fine. If you don't want to make a snowman, I'm leaving. No, stay, please. I want to make a snowman with you. Now look, it's easy. I'm finished. All right, let's put our snowman together. We have to put it on top of this one. Are you ready? <sighs> It will hold. Now we need a head. That's your snowball. Okay. Uh. Hi, kids. I have a surprise for you. Look in the bag. A carrot? We can use it to make the snowman's nose. Wow. <laughs> the bag was full of great surprises. And very soon, the snowman had a big smile on his face. Hmm, I have something else. Let's see if it fits. Look, Sarah, he's beautiful. And he's the biggest snowman in the universe. Wonderful. Now, how about coming inside for a snack? Wait! What's this? It's a snowball. No, it's a snack for the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's getting cold outside. I'm glad we're in here for our story time. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. Today's story is called, Caillou Rakes the Leaves. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were having so much fun, they didn't even notice that their mommy and daddy were watching them. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie. Well, it looks like you two are having fun. Daddy, Mommy, come play with us. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you blew the leaf. Show me a red leaf, Rosie. Yes, good for you. Here's a yellow one, Mommy, and another red one. Thank you, Caillou. And thank you, Rosie. Caillou loved spending all day with his family, <laughs> having fun in the leaves. <laughs> I think it's time to go inside and make supper. Come along, you two. I'll stay and rake the leaves. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he didn't want the fun to stop. He wanted this special day to last forever. Can I stay and help Daddy rake the leaves? Sure. I think that's a great idea. All right! There's an awful lot of leaves, Caillou. Do you think we can rake them all? Yes. Making the leaves, Daddy. Oh, well, it's rather hard work, but it's fun when we do it together. Caillou liked helping his daddy, but he also liked playing. He imagined that the piles of leaves were big houses in the city. I want to live in this one. Caillou was having so much fun pretending that the leaf piles were big houses, he didn't even notice that it was almost dark. Daddy, come see my house. Wow, that's a great house. Did you make it all by yourself? Yes. Come on in, you two. Supper's ready. Daddy, I had a fun day. So did I. I like it when I have my whole family around me. Me too. Did you finish raking the leaves? Yes, and there were lots and lots of them. I made a city too. Caillou helped me a lot, didn't you? Hey, what's that on your head? <gasps> this is the story of when Caillou learned to skate. It happened on a winter day, just like today. Ever since Caillou watched a hockey game with his mommy and daddy, he wanted to skate. So his daddy made a skating rink in the backyard and bought him his first pair of skates. He shoots, he scores! I want to be a hockey player. <laughs> Good, but first we need to learn to skate. I can skate fastest in the world. <laughs> Look, Mommy, he fell down. Hmm, so I'll be skating with the world champion. That's great. <laughs> See? Soon you'll be able to skate like this. Okay, now the first thing you have to learn is how to stand. Caillou discovered that skating wasn't as easy as he thought it would be. Oh, Caillou! This should help until you get the hang of it. And now you're ready to skate! Whoa. I don't want to skate anymore. 
It's too hard. I know it isn't easy, but I'm very proud of you for trying. Let's do it again. Caillou was tired of falling and falling, but he did feel like trying one more time with his daddy. I want to try again. Good for you. Oh. You're doing great, Caillou. Oh, no. Look, Daddy, I can do it. All right, Caillou? Hmm. Caillou, you're skating! You're really skating! Look, Mommy! I'm skating! Who wants some hot chocolate? After falling a lot, Caillou was finally getting the hang of it. Except... Yes, dear? <laughs> I guess your next lesson will be how to turn. And then we'll have to think about getting you a hockey stick. A hockey stick? Wow! Come on, kids. It's time for another Caillou story. Now, let's see what Caillou's up to. Oh, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Grows Carrots. Caillou? Caillou, why don't you go out to the backyard? Somebody's waiting for you. Caillou was very curious to know who it could be. Grandpa! Hey! I'm making a vegetable patch for your mommy. Would you like to help me? Yeah! Just wait and see, Caillou. We're gonna grow all sorts of vegetables. Caillou didn't really like vegetables, but he liked the idea of making a vegetable patch. I'm giving you a special mission. Would you like to grow the carrots? Yeah, okay. Here are the seeds for your carrots. Where are the carrots? Well, you have to plant the seeds in the ground and give them lots and lots of water. Then they'll grow into carrots. Caillou's grandpa marked out a square in the vegetable patch where Caillou could plant his seeds exactly like grandpa showed him. Yay! Grandpa, it isn't working. There aren't any carrots. Oh, you have to be patient. It might take all summer for the carrots to grow. All summer? I finished my carrot. Good. Now I'll glue the ice cream stick to the cardboard. With his sign in the ground, Caillou wouldn't forget where his carrots were growing. Caillou went to the vegetable patch every day to see how his carrots were coming along. After a few weeks... Carrot leaves? No! My carrots! Shoo! Shoo! Caillou was wondering if his carrots would ever come out. It was taking too much time. But a few weeks later... Hello, Caillou. I just went by the vegetable patch. And you know what? I think your carrots are ready now. Really? My carrots? I want to see them! <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, leaves again? No carrots, just leaves. Oh, don't be so sure. Just grab some leaves and pull. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, a carrot! Enjoy your meal, everyone. I grew the carrots by myself. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Caillou. And look at Rosie. She seems to like your carrots a lot. Although Caillou still didn't like vegetables, he thought his carrots tasted pretty good. 
Snuggle up, children. It's story time. Look at Caillou. He's having breakfast. But it's not just any breakfast. This story's all about Caillou's surprise breakfast. One morning, Caillou woke up very, very early. Caillou was trying very hard to be quiet and not wake anybody. Mommy, are you asleep? Daddy, are you asleep? Caillou was wide awake and feeling very hungry. He decided to have breakfast right then, all by himself. That gave Caillou an idea. He would make breakfast for his family. Boo! Caillou! Hi, Rosie. Come with me. I'm making breakfast for everybody. Hey! Caillou didn't want to wake his mommy and daddy. He wanted his breakfast to be a surprise. Want some milk, Rosie? Mm. Hi, Gilbert. Are you hungry? Breakfast, Gilbert? Oops. Breakfast was a lot of work. Now Caillou had to set the table. Caillou wanted this to be the biggest surprise Mommy and Daddy ever had. Whoa. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I think Caillou's in the kitchen. Caillou? Everything okay, Caillou? Shh, it's a surprise. Oh, I see, okay. Hmm, I wonder what sort of surprise Caillou is making. I wonder too. The cupboard seemed very full to Caillou. But where was the breakfast food? Hmm, Mommy likes cereal. <gasps> muffins! Daddy loves muffins! <gasps> Mama! Caillou wasn't quite ready. Wait, Mommy! There was one more thing he wanted to put on the table. He wanted his surprise breakfast to be just right. Okay, come in. Ooh. It's a surprise breakfast. It certainly is. Mmm, it looks good. And look, my favorite cereal is already poured. And there's a lovely muffin on my plate. And the butter dish is right here so I can butter it the way I like. I made you the biggest surprise ever. Story time, kids. Hmm, I wonder if there's any way I could fit right between you two, so we could all see the book. What's the story about, Grandma? It looks like a new adventure for Caillou. It's called, Caillou Goes to Work. Caillou was excited. He was going to go to work with his mommy. The first thing we have to do is go through the revolving door. I can do it, watch me! All right, go ahead, but don't forget to get out on the other side. Mommy? Oh, dear. Keep on pushing, Caillou. I want to do it again. Caillou had never seen anything like this before. There were funny noises around and lots of people he had never met before. Caillou? You must be Caillou. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to the office. Caillou is here to work. Wow! Here you go, your very own desk for the day. And what would you like to do? I want to do work! Hmm. Caillou thought that working was writing on paper. I can work with that! I'm finished! 
Look, Mommy. That's great, Caillou. Uh, just a minute. Look, Mommy. This is you, this is Daddy, this is Rosie, and this is me. Take it. It's for you. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. You did a really good job. Can we play now? I can't just right now, Caillou. I have a bit of work to finish first. Maybe you could draw another picture. Hmm. Hello, Teddy. Mommy's work takes a long time. Caillou, I'm not quite done with my work yet, but I have a surprise for you. Hello. Daddy? It's me, Caillou. I'm working with Mommy. I'm doing work. Teddy is with me. I love you, Daddy. Bye. What do you say we have some lunch? Caillou and his mommy took out their lunch and had a great picnic with Teddy. Why don't we put up your drawing on my bulletin board? That way everybody will see it. Yeah, I want to do it. Wow, it looks great. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> Here you go. I'll see you later at home. See, that's the office where Mommy works. That's right. Caillou was really proud to show his daddy everything he knew about the office. Wait, I want to show you. Uh. The doors were very heavy, so Caillou's daddy decided to help. You really have to be strong to push these doors. I know. Caillou told his daddy all about his day at work. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. We were going to have a Caillou story. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. It's a story called Caillou's Phone Call. Mommy! I think I could be there, but I'll have to check my diary. Uh-huh. Mommy, Rosie did something. Caillou, I'm on the phone. You're interrupting me. You'll just have to wait. It seemed to Caillou that his mommy didn't have any time for him because she'd been on the phone all morning. Okay. Yes, please phone back right away. Bye, I'll be waiting for your call. Now, what was it you wanted to tell me, honey? Rosie tore off a book. You have to come and see. Just a second, Caillou. Hi, yes, I've been expecting your call. Uh, just a second. I'm really, really busy, honey. Why don't you go and play now, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, that'll be fine. Bye now. Hi, honey. Let's see. I'm sorry, Caillou. I'm very busy on the phone this morning, but I'll be finished soon, okay? Caillou really wanted to talk to his mommy, so he decided to phone her. Why don't you answer it this time? Hi, it's me, Caillou. Caillou loved answering the phone. It made him feel very grown up. It's Grandma, Mommy, it's Grandma. Ask her how she is. Hi, Grandma, how are you? I'm fine, Caillou, how are you? I'm fine. I was calling to ask if you'd like to come and see me this afternoon. Wow, yes! Come on in. Hello, Yay. Caillou. You remember my friend's puppy, don't you, Caillou? Yes, Grandma. Why don't you and Rosie play with the puppy while Grandma and I have a chat? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, look at the dog. He's jumping. Don't run, Rosie. He's getting too excited. Just be gentle. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. I'll have to call you back. This little puppy does that every time the phone rings. Why? He's afraid I'll forget all about him when I'm talking to someone else on the phone. That sounds a bit like a little puppy I know. <laughs> 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 What are you laughing about? It's a funny story. But I think I'll let Caillou tell you. 
It's a very funny story, Grandma. <laughs> Come on in, kids. I have a special treat for you. It's a story called Caillou Loves Halloween. Just look. Mommy, Mommy, is it time yet? Is it? Well, yes, it is. Let's get you and Rosie ready, shall we? Well, Mr. Spaceman, are you ready for liftoff? Almost, Daddy. All systems go. Yay! Here's your clown costume, Rosie. Just like you wanted. Rosie had asked for a clown costume, but when she saw it, it reminded her of how she used to be scared of clowns. Ah! Uh, I don't want it! You don't want to go trick-or-treating? Really? Mm. Caillou couldn't believe that Rosie didn't want to go trick-or-treating. Why doesn't Rosie want to go? Rosie is scared because she's still too little for Halloween. Well, if you really don't want to, I guess we'll just stay home. Hold still, Caillou. Bye-bye, Mommy. Mom stayed home to look after Rosie, so Caillou could go out trick-or-treating with his daddy. Bye-bye. Go ahead, Caillou. What are you waiting for? It's okay. You haven't forgotten what to say, have you? Well, this is a surprise. It's not every day an astronaut comes to my house. Go on, Caillou. You know what to say. Trick or treat, Mr. Hinkle. Trick or treat. Wow! Thank you! Rosie was too scared to come trick-or-treating, Mr. Hinkle. Hello! Hi, Caillou. I'm a scary monster. And I'm a spaceman. <laughs> Leo's a monster. And Clementine's a nurse. Look at all my treats! Caillou, Leo, and Clementine all went trick-or-treating together. Trick-or-treat! Trick-or-treat! And they collected lots of treats before it was time to go home. <laughs> Halloween was almost over, but there was still one more bell to ring. Trick-or-treat! Trick-or-treat! Who's this standing on the doorstep? It looks like an astronaut and his friends. It's me! Well, if you want a treat, you'd better come in. I like Halloween. I love Halloween. Story time, kids. Would you like to turn the pages of the book as I read it? Okay. We're all set. This story is called Caillou Goes Bird Watching. No need to rush. The birds will wait. Grandma was taking Caillou bird watching today. And Caillou couldn't wait. He loved going on adventures with Grandma. No birds here. Are you sure? Listen carefully. Would you like to see them closer? Grandma always knew what to do, almost like magic. Caillou didn't know what to expect next. Here, open your hands. Seeds? That's right. You'll see, we'll get some company very soon. Watch. Look, Grandma, the bird is eating. Hey, bird, come back. It's all right, Caillou. You see, small birds are afraid of big people like us. 
We have to stand very still and be very quiet so they won't be afraid. Soon a new bird came to eat some seeds. Then another, and a few more. Caillou couldn't believe it. Yuck! Oh, boy! Let's try a trick. Can you stand up? Good. Put your arms like this in front of you and stand very still. The bird! Grandma, it's on my hand! Caillou was so excited. He'd never had a bird sitting on his hand before. <laughs> We're leaving? Why are you whistling? Well, it's like talking to the birds. And if we're lucky, the birds will talk to us. That's a good try. You'll see, it takes a bit of time. You have to practice. Grandma was happy Caillou enjoyed watching birds. She decided to give him a special present. It's a house. Yes, but not just any kind of house. Look. Grandma, the seeds are coming out. That's right, they're supposed to come out. This is a bird feeder. I've had it for many years. I thought you might enjoy it now. Will the birds come? I don't know. We'll find out. Grandma and Caillou decided to hang the bird feeder near the back porch. This is a fine place. You'll be able to watch the birds from inside the house. And that's how Caillou became a bird watcher, just like his grandma. Story time, kids. This all happened when Caillou was just three years old. Today's story is called, Caillou is Afraid in the Dark. Good night, Caillou. Have sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Just shadows. But what about the scratchy monster? I don't hear a scratchy monster. There is a scratchy monster in here. He's making scratchy sounds. I'm sure you think you heard something. But there's no need to be afraid of monsters. Do you know why? Because monsters aren't real. They're just make-believe. Good night, dear. I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm not afraid of monsters. Ah! Uh. Ow! Huh? Daddy! It's okay, Caillou. It's just your toy, Snakey. You probably just imagined you heard something, Caillou. I can't find anything. But the scratchy monster, he went... Try listening to the music box. It'll make happy sounds for you while you sleep. Good night, Caillou. was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise. See, darling? Sometimes ordinary things can seem scary. So the scratchy monster was just the tree? Look! The scratchy monster! It wasn't a monster. It was just Gilbert. That cat. You'll be able to sleep fine now, dear. With a little help from Teddy. 
be any more scary sounds. I know how Teddy can help make sure there won't be any more scary sounds. Good, Good night, night, Caillou. Caillou. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Makes Cookies. It all happened when Caillou was just three years old. La, la, la. Play quietly now. Rosie's going to take her nap. Shh. Caillou? But I want to play. You can still play. Just do it quietly. Caillou felt that being quiet wasn't as much fun as being noisy. Caillou? I asked you to play quietly. So, Caillou went to the kitchen. Oh. Honey! decided to make some honey cookies. And so, Caillou got to work, making a whole bunch of honey cookies. Fat ones, skinny ones, flat ones, and round ones. Oh, Caillou, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making cookies. Look at the mess you made. Do you want to help Mommy clean it up? Yes, Mommy, me and you. We have to make sure the kitchen is nice and clean. Now, where's that dustpan? I found it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, my favorite helper. Caillou. Caillou was very proud. He was helping Mommy make cookies. Mommy. You made a mess. <laughs> You're right. Mommy makes messes, too. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, try the cookies. Try the cookies. Mmm, who made these good cookies? I did, and Mommy helped. What are you making, Caillou? A big mess. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Tidies His Toys. Caillou, where are you? <laughs> well, it's not like Caillou to disappear when we're having chocolate pudding. That's right. Caillou adores chocolate pudding. Hey, wait for me. Just look at this mess. What did I tell you, Caillou? I'm not supposed to leave my toys on the stairs. Caillou knew very well he wasn't supposed to leave his toys on the stairs. Put them in your room, please, Caillou. Chocolate pudding. I love chocolate pudding. Caillou, come here, please. Hmm. That sounds important. 
I think you'd better go and see what Daddy wants. Caillou, what have I told you about leaving your toys in the driveway? I'm not supposed to. That's right. So I want you to put them away. What about my chocolate pudding? Your chocolate pudding can wait. Here, I'll help you. Even though his daddy was going to help him, Caillou still wasn't very happy. Caillou, I want a word with you. Uh-oh. Caillou, you have to tidy up all these toys. Then you can have your chocolate pudding. Yes, Daddy. Are you sure we picked up all your toys? I'm sure. Look! Then it's chocolate pudding time! Yay! Chocolate pudding! <laughs> Oops! I think you better take a look at this. <laughs> you know, Caillou, you really have a lot of toys. And they take up so much space. I know. And there's lots of old ones you don't really play with anymore. What should we do? You could give some of the old ones to Rosie. I could give her one toy, and maybe some more later. What you really need is a big box to put your toys in. Would you like to help me make one? Wow, yes! As soon as I finish my chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> there. That should do it. Thank you, Daddy. Let's see if the lid fits properly. we have time for a story. Come on! This story happened when Caillou was three. Today's story is called Caillou in the Bathtub. No! Caillou! It's time for your bath! I'm serious, Caillou. I'm not going to play games with you. Caillou didn't want a bath. Where is he? I wonder where that boy can be. Uh. Where's Caillou? Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. Come on, Caillou. It's bath time. I don't want to take a bath. It's too hot, Mommy. Okay. It's too cold, Mommy. And where do you think you're going, young man? I'm going to play. You can play later. It's bath time now. You have hey, to keep clean. I don't want to be clean. No! Clean's no fun. Let's add some bubble bath. No. It certainly couldn't hurt. What do you say to some funny bubbles, Caillou? No. Oh. Give me your hand. Doesn't that look like fun? <laughs> Suddenly, Caillou wanted to have his ducky. And he remembered he'd left him in Rosie's room. Oh, no, not again. Caillou, come back here. My ducky! Ducky makes bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Big bubbles. Maybe this can help you make more. Caillou had discovered that bath time could also be playtime. He discovered how to make bubbles. Look at me! I can make lots of bubbles! Whee! Hey! Where's Caillou? Here I am! It's me! Where's my ducky? Don't worry, ducky! I'll save you! Caillou 
discovered that bath time could be splash time. Okay, Caillou, time to get dried off. I don't want to. I want to play in the bath. Good. Then you'll want to play in the bath tomorrow, too. Yes, me and Ducky and a lot of bubbles. And that's how 